right, so we got G7, A flat 7, G7, C9, D flat 9, C9, G7. You can always approach from a half step below or above. Then D9, E flat 9, D9. Turn around. I'm just doing a sort of a ZZ top type thing. So these are both G notes here. G, G. And F, E, keeping a G here, E flat, a D augmented chord. So this is 5, 4, 3, 3, or a root, major third, sharp 5, root. So that's a fun way to work on that. Um, and it's good to play that in a couple of different octaves. So start with your one chord, your G up here, then your C7 here. Back to G9. So this is frets 10 and 9. Then D7. E flat 7. Just a, up a half step from your D. Back to D. And then you're back to G. a good turnaround is if you keep a root note as the high note and then you start basically this is frets 9 and 12 so 9 and 12 10 12 11 12 12 12 so that's a good way to work through those chord changes one four one then four one then five Minor sixth, the minor sixth above the root, back to the five, and then your turn around. Five augmented chord is always a good one. It's a tension chord. You'll hear that used by the uh, by Brian Setzer and Straight Cats and stuff like that too. Works great over blues, rockabilly, lots of stuff. All right, have fun.